Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to monitor temperature, humidity, and fan status from Arduino Mega in Node Red dashboard using Modbus TCP protocol communication. Before we start, please click subscribe button to subscribe this channel. Thank you. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I use Arduino Mega and Ethernet Shield for communication to Node Red. LCD display, an I2C device to display temperature, humidity, and fan status. And, I use a single channel relay as output to drive the fan. Button as input to trigger the relay, and DHT11, temperature, and humidity sensor. Micro USB to power up the LCD display. And, 5 volt fan. Connect it to the relay. As dashboard, I use Node Red. This Node Red dashboard will receive the message from Arduino and display the values in dashboard. This is the Node Red flow. I installed additional node, select Manage Palette, and click Install tab, then find the node, Node Red Contrib UI State Trail, and click Install. This node function is to visualize fan state changes over time period. Let's take a look at the node red flow. This is TCP node to receive message from Arduino. Configure the port number and select output as stream of string. Next function node. Because the message received consists of three strings separated by commas, the function of this node is to turn it into an array and get values for temperature, humidity, and fan status. After getting value of temperature and humidity, next is gauge node. Those node are for display the value in gauge display. Set the type as gauge, and set the value format based on the payload from previous node. Next node are chart nodes. Those node are for display temperature, and humidity record in line chart based on the record time. The next node are for checking fan status. Check the status is on or off. Fan status will be displayed on state trail node. This chart will visualize fan status changes over the time period. When status on, go to function node that contains command to trigger rotate animation of SVG image. Then the SVG image will animate the rotation, indicates fan is turn on. When status is off, go to function node, that contains command to stop the rotate animation. This is the SVG node. There is an animation configuration to animate the fan rotation. And also the SVG image code, we can modify it in XML editor, or SVG image editor. This is the node red dashboard. It displays the value of temperature and humidity in gauges and also display in line chart. For showing the status fan, there is fan SVG image. It will animate rotation if fan status is turned on. And also, the state trail chart to visualize fan status changes over time period. This is the wiring diagram. You can download all required files in this tutorial. Check the link in video description. After wiring all devices, next is open the I2C scanning code to detect the LCD I2C device, set up the board to Arduino Mega, and check the Arduino board port. And then, upload the code to Arduino Mega. With this scanning program, we will get the address of I2C device, if LCD device is detected. Check the I2C address in serial monitor.
This is the Arduino code. For LCD library, follow the link to download the library, and copy to Arduino libraries folder, and follow the wiring for LCD. For Modbus communication, I use Arduino Modbus library. We can install it from library manager, select manage libraries, and find Arduino Modbus, then click install. These are required libraries. This is LCD configuration, set the address same with previous scanning code. Set the Arduino MAC address, and the IP address, set the address same with your router IP address. This is input, and output configuration, based on the wiring diagram. And, this is DHT11 sensor configuration, set the output pin to pin number 2. This code will get temperature, and humidity value from the sensor. Every 5 seconds, Arduino will send message to node red, the message contains temperature, humidity, and fan status. If input button pressed, Arduino will turn on the relay from the output pin. Upload the code to Arduino. Then open the serial monitor. In serial monitor, we can see the notification Arduino is connected or not, to TCP server. And it will show the temperature, and humidity value every 5 seconds. Now, try the result. I use my Microsoft Surface to show the Node Red dashboard. This tablet connects to Node Red server via Wi Fi network. Arduino connect to Node Red server using Ethernet connection. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also, subscribe my channel. See you in my next video.